Okay, hey folks, uh, it's Mark Locklear. Just wanted to do a quick screencast and uh, just walk you through. I think I'll choose the project um, project two two, which is one of the assignments you're going to be turning in here. Uh, the convert number grades to letter grades, and this is kind of the format of all these projects uh, that you'll be doing. The books, the exercise, the book. The exercises in the book generally will give you a code base to start with, and that's kind of good practice because it kind of sets things up for you. The goal of these projects is going to be for you to sort of um, come up with your code from scratch and sort of start from a new project. However, what you're going to see is one of the tricks here is um, there's no reason to reinvent the wheel when you don't have to. A lot of these projects are going to be very similar to um, the exercises in the book. You've already got some code there. Many times it does very similar things. So that's one of the uh, kind of techniques I'm going to show you here. So real quickly, this uh, um, grade converter is uh, simply ask the user to enter a grade and notice on notice the operation here, we're not going to need to check. We'll do this later on. We'll be doing some validation to check whether the user enters a, a number less than zero or greater than 100. But based on the operation here, we're going to assume that the user is going to enter a number between zero and 100. And then the application displays a corresponding letter grade based on that number. And then it gives you the spe specifications here on what that looks like. So let's just, uh, I'm not going to do the entire project for you here, but I want to kind of get you started so you can see an example of it. So I've already created a new project here. I called mine con Converter. And so I've got a new base project. And in fact, I can run this and you can see here it runs. Of course, there's no output because I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, asking the program to do anything. Uh, however, so kind of as a baseline for this code, if we look at the invoice app, which was chapter two, exercise three, if you look at the example start um, that the invoice app, this code's very similar to what we want to do, right? It already prompts the user. We're uh, using this scanner class. Um, we're creating a new scanner object here. And, um, and then we're setting this string choice to Y at the beginning. And then we say while uh, while the string choice is Y, then we'll continue to execute this code. That's what gives us this loop to ask the user whether they want to continue or not. And then uh, we're doing this system out statement. That's where we ask the user to enter a subtotal. And then we assign that subtotal variable. Or we assign the user input to this variable subtotal. And then we've got a series of if-else statements that we do here. So this code's very similar to what we want to do in our grade converter app. So let's see how we can make that work. So what I'm going to do is, again, I've created this converter, this empty project here. So what I'm going to do is just copy this out. Now, there's a bunch of ways that you can do this. Um, I'm going to copy this. So notice where I'm copying. Notice I'm starting after the bracket, after the public static void main. And I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go to my converter app. And then I'm going to place that in the same location in this new application. And in fact, so a couple of things I'm looking for. Number one is I'm making sure there's no error warnings with the little light bulb or the red squiggly lines. And then, in fact, I'm just going to run this and make sure I get the same output, which you see I do. I can enter 400, and then it gives me a response back. Then I can say no. So now if I want to change this, again, based on the specs from our project 2.2, uh, we say, you know, welcome to letter grade converter. So real quick, I'll just come up here and say welcome to letter grade converter. And then... So the scanner object, all this is fine. So rather than enter subtotal, the specs again ask us to enter a numerical grade. And then I'm going to assign that. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and again, these variables, you can make these represent whatever you'd like. I'm going to change subtotal to grade. Okay. And then we're using this discount percent. That's not really going to be applicable here. So I'm just going to comment that out. And now with these if-else statements, there's a couple ways we can do here. So back 
a couple things we can do here. Back to our specs for this new uh, program. If you look at the ranges here, I can put in, I can use some or statements and say, okay, if a number is between this or between that, that may be a way uh, you'll want to do. I want you to experiment and try some different things, but the way I'm going to do it is just based on a number. So here I'm going to say, for instance, if grade is greater than or equal to 88 was our first number, then I'm just going to do a print statement. So I'm going to go down here and copy this. Now there's a lot of copy and pasting that I'm doing. I mean, you can you can write you can write a lot of this code out by hand, but often it's very easy to just cut and paste, and that way you know that you're not you're not fat fingering something or, or making a mistake. So the output that they want is letter grade, and then for instance, this is going to be an A. And then so following again, following this same pattern here. I would say else if grade is greater than or equal to the next range it has an 80 to an 87 is a B. So if I say it's greater than or equal to 80, and I'm going to take and copy this. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and copy this down here on this last statement too. So now if I can say if it's 80, if it's greater than or equal to 80, it's going to be a B. And then L. So I'm just going to stop here. I'm not going. To, I, don't want to, I don't want to do the entire thing for you, but I just want to sort of give you an example. Now this math that we were doing for the subtotal, um, we're not going to need that here. We're not doing any. We're not doing any adding, adding, subtracting, or any kind of mathematical functions, and we'll cover that later on. We're building up this string. We don't need to do any of any of that because we're doing the output up here. So I'm just going to de delete that. And so let's just run this and see. Again, first first thing I'm looking for is to making sure I'm not seeing any errors anywhere. And I don't see any errors, so I'm just going to run this and see what kind of output we, we get. So I get welcome to letter grade converter. That's right. I get enter a numerical grade. So if I enter 95, I get letter grade is equal to A. So I can say yes if I want to continue. If I enter 87, I get letter grade is equal to B. And then, of course, I can say no, and that will allow me to exit. So I think that's all I'm going to do for you. Uh, if you have specific questions, uh, shoot me an email. It's kind of late and it, um, ho hopefully, uh, again, the assignment is nice to do at 11.55, uh, so I'll, I'll answer whatever emails I, I can. Um, but again, this is just an example of how, for, and for most of the chapters this way, I mean, the, the, the chapter is going to sort of lead you in the direction it wants you to go with any code that you're creating. So the example starts for the book exercise to do a good job of getting you very close, and then you just have to go in there and modify or add some logic to the existing code, and then the project exercises you're going to do are going to all ask you to sort of create an application from scratch. However, I would encourage you to reuse code uh, reuse some of the book code wherever possible. So that's all I've got for now. Good luck.